Okay, with you. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with a guy who gets down in the kitchen, the family chef. <laughs> Chef Gennard. Chef, welcome back to the circle. Thank you. You know it's always a pleasure being here with y'all. Well, we always enjoy having you because you cook and feed, okay? Exactly. <laughs> For some reason, you act like he was surprised that this was on. I'm well, you know, to work today. I, I, I mess around a little bit in the kitchen, but it always looked like I cooked it. It's not really like I'd really be doing ah, anything. But listen, okay. let's get down to it. What we doing today? All right. Well, actually, what we're doing is a linguine, okay. chardonnay, alamon, Chicken meatball cream pasta. Sounds it's a amazing. long name. Long name, so you can just shorten it up for well, the chicken meatball Well, you can just call it chicken meatball. Me Thank you. Chicken meatball pasta. Okay. <laughs> call it whatever you want. That's the cool thing about cooking is bringing food into your world. Absolutely. Very simple, easy dish, especially going to, get, even though we're getting ready to go out of the summer. This okay. Is something all year so, round. what are the ingredients that we'll need? First, what we're going to have here, we got some chicken meat. Okay. Ground chicken here. Good. You got your bread crumbs. Nice. We got a little Cajun See, seasoning. See, you cook like my mama. You just throwing stuff in the pot. There's no measurements. Well, the, 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 the thing about cooking is cooking the way you feel. No one, no two people ever cook the same. I understand that, but I need measurements. Let yeah, me explain you know. why. So because I'm, I'm, it'll I'm, either be too salty or not seasoned enough. All right, so let, let me let you get ahead. Grab those tongues. Right. Squeeze that so we can get your emotions tied into that. Okay. That's the cool thing. You know, that's, that's what it's about, especially with family chefs, like you mentioned, with your mom, things like that. We all cook differently. Right. And some people can cook based off the way they feel, right. the way they hands I asked, are. And emotions are tied into it. But see, you just did an emotionless stir. So what you got to do is just grab it with your hands. Put your hands on it. Exactly. Yes. So they can feel all of it. Right. Go and ahead. Then, they're very simple. Just roll them into a cool meatball. So, you, firm, right so you want to make these nice, big, thick meatballs. Depending on what you're going for. Okay. You know, if, you, if you're trying to... Look out for your figure. You can you can go a little smaller, but I always like to say a three ounce meatball. Who want a little meatball? That's not cute. <laughs> Come on, on, go ahead and put it in there. <laughs> Depending on how you're trying to eat right there, that's what we just rolled so those in. So, what is the temperature this needs to be on? This right here, we want to cook this at a medium high for 12 minutes. Okay. And while I'm doing this right here, I want you to start on the Chardonnay pasta. Got it. So first, we have some Chardonnay. We got one yes. cup of Chardonnay. Go ahead and pour it in your Come skillet. Come on, drunk pasta. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, don't be afraid. You know, cooking is your friend. We okay, and then what I do? All right, now you're going to add in your heavy cream. Got it. So yep, what so other meats can you use in this? You can use beef. You can use uh, turkey. You can use lamb. Okay. Depending on what you're going for, you can use all of those. Okay. And while cooking. And then? Yeah. Then the kids, if you notice, I didn't use any olive oil, any oil at all while cooking this because it naturally has... That has its own fat in it, right. so we're going to allow it to cook. See, I'm left-handed, yeah, so I do that. things a little different. There you go. I'm a little backwards, as my go. mama mix likes it to say. Now, while you mix it now, you keep okay. going. I'm, I'm getting this lemon right here. Okay. So squeeze. We're going to squeeze a little lemon juice Squeeze over. a little lemon juice in there. And that's to get that citric acid in it. So right. Get the nice so this here is for it. the ladies at home who really don't cook, but you need it. You know, you want to impress a guy. This yeah. is easy. And, I can and do that's this. The, that's the key, because you got to remember, you know what my Monica was before with the family chef. It was the chef of love. Mm -hmm. So Then you had eight babies, and somebody said, stop it. Uh, well, actually, nine, but right. I take the eight for today. Right, right. Okay, nine babies? What? Hey, I retired out of the business. Now, I see. Now I just show others how to do it. So what I did was I added the Cajun seasoning. Got it. That. We're going to add a little onion and fresh parsley. I know you don't like now cilantro. Now, listen, I don't like cilantro. Uh -huh. It tastes like soap to me. But listen, this is what we're going to do. We're going to finish up this recipe with Chef Jannar, and we'll hear about an exciting event that he's involved in when we come back. Stay with us, okay? Come on, baby. Stir this up. <laughs> we're back with the family <laughs> chef, Chef Jannard, and we're cooking up Luguini Chardonnay a la mommy ball cream sauce. Oh, you remember that, I, huh? show, I can read now. Listen, <laughs> here's the thing now. You are involved with a lot of different things. Now, we know that you're hosting the Chefs and Spirits extravaganza. So talk yes. to me about that event and who wants to attend and what can they expect? If, you, if you're looking for amazing food and great spirits to try, you definitely want to join us. They're making Georgia. Actually, Macon, Georgia. Yeah, Macon, Georgia. It's the Middle Middle Georgia Community Food Bank. Nice. And what we're doing is all 100 proceeds go to feeding there. hungry mm -hmm. people. Yeah. And that's what it's about. September 22nd, we're gonna. I'm bringing out some of the best chefs around to actually create mm -hmm. unique dishes. We got all kind of spirits to pair with it. So. It's a, it's a wine and spirits festival done our way. Right. So this is the thing. I always say a, a man can really show you he loves you if he feeds you. 
Absolutely. If he, if the quickest way to end me, was hard. Feed it's me. The, right. Exactly. So let me let me go ahead and add Come things in here while we're talking about I feeding. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, but that's the quickest way to anyone's heart is actually through their stomach. Right. A lot of people don't realize that. When you first meet somebody, just like the couple we just heard talked a minute ago, right. what did they say their first day was? They was having dinner in Chicago. They were having pizza. Right? It was a cheap exactly. meal, but they he loved it. It don't matter. Right. Food is always first base. Exactly. Nothing tastes I guarantee that brother wouldn't have got a kiss, wouldn't have got a handshake or nothing if he hadn't fed him. Well, Chef, why are you hollering? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, 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 that's, that's how I get when I'm talking about food and love. I just can't help but right, bring it I all out. I understand that. Listen, <laughs> listen, let me tell you something. Okay, so now talk to me about, because now we're going to, we toss this, um, the yes. pasta in the sauce, the meatballs are in there, and then now you're going to plate yep, it. Yep, you that's just the fancy bring word. it out. Yes, you know. You so what else out. can we expect from you? What you, what else are you working on? I know oh, that you man, have this I, event, you have a book. I see you everywhere. Yeah, well, that's that's what it's about. Relevancy and endurance is the key. Nice. You know, I, I started this just a short period of time, about 20 years ago. Okay. So I'm just in my first trimester nice. of things. <laughs> so listen, I want to know, I'm going to get in your business. Now, when mm -hmm. did, did you cook for your wife the first day, the second day? How did it, how did it go down? As a matter of fact, that's the first thing I asked my wife when I met her was, can I cook for you? Mm. That was funny because I knew, hey, at the time, I didn't have a lot of money. We've been married for almost 20 years. Yeah. But I knew the one thing I could do is cook good food. Cook. And if I got you that way, I had you. Mm -hmm. So here, look, here, listen, <laughs> this is the finished product, y'all. Absolutely. Now, this is now what you got to get into this right I here. I got to get into it. Yeah. But, you, you know, the meatball, how many eat the meatball? Hey, well, you wanted them big, remember? I sure did. There you and go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Just put it in there. Behave, uh, Chef. Listen, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We, you know you're always welcome to come down to the circle. If you want to try some of the Chef Gennard's recipes, you know that you can pick up his cookbook, Southern Modify. And for more yep. information about getting tickets to the event, which is the Chef and Spirits of Transfraganza, go to mgcfb.com. But...